Hello, so today I have uh, my bus here. This is my service truck. It's what I take on the road, pretty much go everywhere with. A couple days ago, I was doing a project. I needed to empty a fuel tank. that had been sitting on a reefer for who knows how many years, at least five years, right? Um, it was full, uh, and so we decided, oh, okay, we'll empty it into the, into the bus here. Fast forward two days after that, and now I'm having crazy problems. But I don't think it's related to the fuel. But anyway, so here's the thing. Like, after we put the fuel in it, I actually took it on a trip, and I was 6,000 pounds overweight uh, in addition, like, to the gross carrying capacity of the bus. And it did awesome, 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 awesome. Uh, so I didn't think anything of it. And then uh, Sergey was over here. Um, working on something on his truck, and uh, then uh, he needed to move it. It was parked on the other side of the lot, and when he started it up, it was like black smoking and like stuttering and all kinds of stuff, and then it would run fine for a second, and then it would go back to stuttering. Uh, so I hooked the scanner up to it. Well, initially, I thought maybe water and fuel, so we drained it. Nothing was in the fuel water separator. Um, I changed the filter, and it was still doing the same thing, so I hooked the scanner up to it, and let me show you what I found. Okay, so this is the commanded fuel pressure. This is the measured fuel pressure. Obviously, it's not running, so we're not getting anything. The EFC actuator duty cycle is in blue, and then the percent fuel is in black. You can't see the line because it's behind the blue line. And then this is the EFC actuator commanded current and measured current. <laughs> So let me show you what I think is going on. I think we have a bad electronic fuel control solenoid, which, pardon the camera not focusing, right there, out of focus, we have the fuel pump, and then right there, we have this solenoid. Okay, so that's the fuel control actuator. It has three Torx uh, screws holding it in place. You can see two of them, one of them is behind it. Okay, so I grabbed a quarter inch baby ratchet, a quarter inch deep socket, and a T25 driver bit. Then I was able to break all three of them loose. There's a little bit of wiggling that you have to do to get past that fuel line. Once they were all broken loose, you can kind of get at it with two fingers. You can kind of reach around the solenoid to get that back one. And then you can just wiggle the solenoid out and a little bit of fuel will come out, but it's no big deal. It looks like this is pre-lubed. So no need for me to add lube sorry you're not going to be able to see but i gotta get that to go in straight the <sighs> ring doesn't want to pop in Okay. I went ahead and started all of the bolts by hand to make sure that nothing got cross-threaded. 
I continued tightening them as much as I could with my fingers. Then I broke out the baby ratchet again and snugged everything down in preparation for the torque wrench. The torque values listed in QuickServe say 27 inch-pounds on the first pass, then 62 inch-pounds on the second pass. Alright, let's see if we can get the top one. Oh man. Okay. Alright. Put an electrical connector on it. There we go. before I did notice before the EFC was probably leaking internally and here's here's why I know or there's a check valve somewhere that's leaking because my rail pressure would drop to zero like within seconds of the truck being off and right now it's taken a while but it is dropping you can see it's dropping but it's not dropping immediately so anyway I hope this helps someone out I hope my dirty ass tool bus well, it inspires some people. I don't know. We'll see. But I'm glad that I can get back on the road. Um, I actually have a call to go to right now. So, hopefully this helps someone out. <laughs>